Tea Pigeon, it looked as if his best chance had gone. As Monksfield again leads the field in 1980, Pigeon's in fifth. And it's Monksfield in the lead from Bird's Nest, Pollardstown, Connaught, Ranger, and just in behind them, Sea Pigeon over the second last. It was Monksfield who led. Monksfield in the lead from Pollardstown, Sea Pigeon coming there, then Bird's Nest, then comes... Uh, Connaught, Ranger and Royal Boxer and Roundy the home turn now in the champion hurdle and it's Monksfield in the lead from Bird's Nest and Sea Pigeon. Monksfield, Sea Pigeon and Bird's Nest are the three principal as they come to the last. It's Monksfield who's going to touch down just in the lead from Sea Pigeon. Monksfield and Sea Pigeon, it's a repeat of last year. The same two fighting it out. Sea Pigeon coming there on the near side and Sea Pigeon's going to avenge that defeat of last year. He's striding up to the line, the veteran 10 year old. He's won it at last. Sea Pigeon wins the champion hurdle. Monksfield is beaten for the first time in three years. Bird's Nest is third. A year later, with John Joe badly injured, John Frankham got the call. By then, they decided the gelding needed holding up, and in Frankham, they had another ideal man. Coming to the final flight, Pollardstown from Daring Run and Sea Pigeon. Sea Pigeon going very strongly with Starfen on his outside over the last. Pollardstown and Daring Run, and it's Daring Run and Pollardstown being pressed now by Sea Pigeon. Daring Run in the lead from Sea Pigeon coming to challenge on the near side. It's the old man Sea Pigeon coming to take it up, and he's going to win it as they come up towards the line. Sea Pigeon wins the champion hurdle. Sea Pigeon has just won it from Pollardstown and Daring Run. You've never heard such cheers from the crowd.